<laughs> hey guys, DJ Booty Butt here, about to finish my hardcore mega expert master mode slime staff only run. Okay, here he comes, and boom, let's go, baby. That's a new world record right there. Woo! Make sure you guys smash that like button, follow my stream at DJ Booty Butt Live. Thanks for watching. Wait, you hear that? Is that? <laughs> it can't be. Did you really think you were done with the game? Did you think that you had truly conquered everything? <laughs> yourself this. Why do you play Terraria? What draws you into it? The building and creative aspects? The charming graphics and art style? Maybe the it's story. the- Wait, huh? The what? You know, the story. The story? What do you mean? Terraria doesn't have any story. What are you talking- Oh, the story, right? <laughs> I got you. No, jokes aside, for most of you, myself included, it's the combat and loot progression. Delving underground, collecting resources to acquire the next best set of gear, and then hunting some bosses down. Of course, there's a ton of other stuff that you do along the way, but combat is the core of Terraria's gameplay loop. Now, what if I told you you could get two or three times more out of that core loop? How, you ask? Calamity. Calamity is the answer. I have played every single major content mod for Terraria and nothing, truly nothing comes close to what Calamity delivers. I'm sorry Thorium fans, but let's be real here, it only offers like 10% of what Calamity brings to the table. Well, uh, Wally, that's actually your biased opinion and nothing more than a subjective stance guides an objective one, thank you very much. Okay, I can see that argument. However, a wise man once said, if the music sucks, the game sucks too. So, oh honorable YouTube commenter, I submit to you Exhibit A. was only a small snippet of the complete auditory pleasure that is the Calamity OST. That bad boy has got 46 songs on it in total. 46. Seriously, I can't overstate how good of a job DM Dokuro did on the music. It takes the entire mod to a completely different level on its own. Calamity would not be the same without its music. But all right, enough of the music. How about the actual content Calamity adds? How does that stuff hold up? Uh, it's good, really good. For starters, you have the option to play on a difficulty above expert mode that isn't an absolute <coughs> waste of time piece of trash that only makes all enemies bullet sponges and offers nothing meaningful in return for the time and effort that you put into it. <coughs> Sorry, I had something weird in my throat there. You've got a difficulty above expert called revengeance mode, which along with 30 plus new weapons and accessories only obtainable on the difficulty, adds many new changes to just about every single boss in the game, as well as two entirely new mechanics, rage and adrenaline, which you can utilize based on how well you perform during a boss fight. So without even playing the mod yet, you've already drastically altered the core loop mentioned earlier. Only 30 new items, that's hardly anything. Okay, you wanna see the list of everything that Calamity adds? Are you ready? simply adding tons of stuff isn't inherently a good thing. In fact, it's often bad due to how oversaturated everything becomes without the necessary care and attention to detail behind it all. Rest assured, Calamity does indeed have that care and attention to detail with its items. There are so many unique effects and interactions other than just, haha, you killed the boss and now you get a weapon with more damage. <laughs> also, these effects aren't reserved for the in-game content. Heck, not even for the hard mode stuff. Take the lionfish, for example. You can loot it from shadow chests in pre-hard mode and its effect is that for each hit you land, the enemy takes an increasing amount of damage over time, up to six stacks for a total of 300 damage per second. Whoa, a fast, auto-firing projectile weapon that has a huge amount of damage over time and it's pre-hard mode? That's not very balanced, Mr. Streamer. Oh, but it is. You don't acquire this thing from anywhere. Oh, no, no, no. You get it from one place and one place only, inside of the one of many new biomes Calamity adds, and by far my favorite, the Abyss.
atmosphere in the abyss is just perfect. The only way to access it is to find the entrance at the bottom of the Sephora Sea, another new biome, and be helpless as you slowly sink further and further down with all of the light quickly fading until you're free falling into the deep, dark expanse of the abyss. You'll eventually land on a small piece of terrain and gather your bearings enough to start traversing the platforms until you manage to find one of the many shadow chests. But time is not on your side. You only have a couple fleeting minutes to scavenge for loot as the ever-increasing deaths literally crush you to death. The farther down you go, the faster your breath depletes and the more hostile enemies become. In fact, here's how long you can survive without any preparation for your first journey into the abyss. Yeah, that should shed enough light on why the lionfish and other abyss weapons are as powerful as they are. This place ain't no joke, and you've only experienced but a fraction of its true challenge. Along with the Abyss, you also have the previously mentioned Sulphurous Sea, the Sunken Sea, the Brimstone Crag, and the Astral Infection. Each of these biomes offer new enemies, bosses, and of course, loot to obtain at all different parts along your playthrough. You're often given reason to go back to a biome and explore previously undiscovered or unreachable parts to farm for a particular resource or kill a new boss. It's a very satisfying experience. But the most satisfying experience in all of Calamity, and really Terraria as a whole, are the boss fights. You thought you'd seen it all with the vanilla fights? <laughs> Not even close. Without spoiling too much, some of the fights are just insane. Again, not just the in-game or hard mode ones, Calamity has some truly amazing boss design at all points. During your first playthrough, you will really need to come prepared to new boss fights because man oh man, you will be instantaneously put in your place if you neglect preparation. Ah, what are you talking about? I've got my space gun and my meteorite armor. What could go wrong? On top of it all, once you do conquer a given boss, you are always rewarded in a substantial way. You'll either immediately get a piece of gear that is a direct upgrade, or as I said, you'll unlock the ability to gather a new resource to craft upgrades. I'm not joking when I say that every boss has a weapon or accessory drop for each and every class, so no matter your playstyle, you will get a sense of accomplishment and be directly rewarded from killing them. Also, did I mention that Calamity adds an entirely new class, the Rogue? Well, it's basically brand new if you don't count the laughable throwing class from Vanilla. The class and loot design and calamity when combined with the meaningful boss fights is easily the biggest reason for its popularity. At any point in your playthrough, you can look up on the wiki and say, hmm, I didn't know that existed, and wow, that'd be really good for my build. That's awesome. Now, that could be considered a flaw to some, having to look at an external source for progression's sake, but I see it no different than using something like a boss checklist to have an easy reference for what to do next. And if you're a loot fiend like me, this class setups page should excite the ever-loving heck out of you as it gives multiple different options for each class of which weapon armor, and accessories are most optimal to use at a given point of your playthrough. It gives you that source of excitement that only comes with chasing the next upgrade on your character in order to tackle the next huge obstacle. Link in the description. <laughs> all in all, Calamity is hands down the most fleshed out content mod for Terraria. If you've only ever heard of it and never really given it a shot, I highly, highly recommend you do so. At your earliest convenience, of course. I'm just kidding. You better hit that download button right now on Tmod Loader or else I promise you, you better not test me. Also, let's pour one out for the console boys here that can't access mods. You are not for God. And that about does it with what I wanted to cover for the Calamity mod. Let me know with a like or dislike on the video and a comment below your thoughts and especially if you would like to see more content like this from me. You can check out my stream at twitch.tv slash woolygaming and consider joining our Discord server as well. Thank you for watching and here, take this banger real quick as you head out.